Good morning, everyone, from beautiful North Georgia. It is day two of our little trip up to the mountains, and uh, look at that guy. Someone drew a man on the tree. The big goal is to see a couple of milk snakes, but uh, this is a new area, so we don't really know exactly what's here. But yeah, we're gonna be looking for rocks to flip and hiking habitat for the next couple hours. It rained all morning, so we're only just now getting out and uh, it feels pretty good out here considering. So hopefully there will be some snakes in store for us. There's a worm snake. That is our first snake of the day. I'm gonna grab him real quick. This little guy is very cold to the touch. It never really got cold last night, but it hasn't really warmed up much today. I think it's only in the 50s, but really cute little worm snake. Is our first snake at this next spot. Look at that iridescence on this guy. Here is our first ringneck of the day. He's buried way down in the, uh, the grass here under this rock. Little guy, we'll see if we can grab him real quick. Come here. I see you. There he is. Got my left hand glove on today. And there's our second snake, little ring neck. Haven't really been able to find too much to flip out here yet, but the stuff that we have found is pretty good looking. So we're gonna keep at it and hope it gets better. And here's a double ring neck. Lots of snakes so far into the few rocks we found that actually flip, but they've all been common stuff, which is not a bad thing. Hopefully the cool stuff is gonna be coming soon. But I'm just gonna cover these guys back up. Ring necks two and three for the day. All right, guys, we are at our next spot for the day. This is another experimental spot. We're saving the good stuff for tomorrow when we have a full day of good weather. But this is an area that I've never been to, and I think it's actually a county I've never even herped in. So pretty much anything in this area will be new for me locally. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to turn up some milks and maybe some other target species here. But we're going to find out. Well, we are struggling to find much in the way of good rocks to flip up here. It's getting pretty late. But under that little dinky rock right there was a southeastern crown snake, a really dark one. This thing is super dark. I didn't even know what it was at first. That is actually a pretty good find up here, I'm assuming. We are in the, the, the legitimate mountains of North Georgia. I mean, you can see some of those peaks over there. Those are very, very high. And we're about as high right here. And we've got a nice southeastern crown snake. It's crazy to me how associated these guys are with these super high and dry ridge tops in this corner of the state. Let me get a voucher shot of this guy in case he is a significant record, because like I said, I have not herped in this county. And here's a little in-shed worm snake right next to where the tantilla is. It seems like we're finding decent amounts of fossorial snakes where we are today, but none of the big targets. This is our, I think our second worm snake of the day. We saw one at the first stop too. And it's getting pretty late out here, so we're probably gonna have to turn around relatively soon. Good morning, everyone, from the top of Georgia. It is a very crisp morning here in the mountains, um, but it is the right time of year, and it's supposed to warm up quite a bit today, so hopefully there will be some snakes in store for us. Yesterday ended up being a little bit of a bust. We hit a bunch of new spots though, and uh, there's never any guarantee when you're exploring new areas. So should be pretty good out here today. I have high expectations. Hopefully that is going to actually pan out today because it definitely didn't yesterday, but I think I feel a little bit better about today. It rained most of the day yesterday and we only had a couple hours in the afternoon. And as you can see, it's nice and sunny first thing this morning. So we're gonna hit the mountain and uh, start flipping rocks and see if we can find some milk snakes. Well, I was just starting to make my way back to the car at the first spot, and I flipped that rock right there, and underneath it was our first milk of the day. I had just turned off the GoPro, too, because I didn't think there was any more rock, and under that is big adult milk. Unfortunately, this guy could not be much more deep in shed. First snake of the day, it's exactly what we're looking for. Hopefully, we can find some more <laughs> attractive looking ones throughout the day. You couldn't ask for a much more generic looking milk to start the day. All right, big guy, there you go. All right, everyone, we are at our main spot for the day where we are going to be hiking for the next couple of hours. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to turn up some snakes. This is a tried and true spot that we have seen a lot of stuff at in the past. So 
hopefully we'll see a few things here and I will try to uh, not turn the GoPro off right before I find a milk snake. Here's our first find at this spot. This is a nice little Chattahoochee slimy salamander. They're actually different from the ones we have back home or at least historically were considered different. I'm not too sure what the current taxonomy says. You can tell he's a lot darker than the normal slimies we see. That's one of the characteristics of Chattahoochee slimies is they tend to be a lot darker, but otherwise they look fairly similar. They just don't have quite as much modeling on the dorsal as they do on the lateral sides. You can see he's got a decent amount of spots on the sides still, just not many on the top. <laughs> look at that guy. It's a very tiny little slimy salamander under this piece of bark. There's a ring neck. It's our first uh, non-milk snake of the day. Ooh, look at that belly. He's a northern boy. So from the top, this guy doesn't look too different from what we normally see, but if you flip him over, he has a entirely patternless belly aside from a few very tiny dots which is pretty diagnostic of a northern ringneck. One of the subspecies that barely ranges into Georgia and really only in the Blue Ridge Mountains where we are today. It does seem like a lot of the ringnecks in this area are intergrades, so in all likelihood, genetically, this guy's probably also an intergrade. But it's really cool to see just a ringneck with a solid yellow belly like that in Georgia. There's another ringneck. What's your belly gonna look like? Normal. <laughs> Perfect example of an integrate zone. This is a pretty typical southern ringneck, at least phenotypically. And that one we found earlier was pretty textbook northern. Whoa, that's a big toad. He made noise. Look at that. Look at that for a unit of an American toad. The sole resident of his rock. A ah, super handsome toad. We're just gonna put this gentleman back. Nice American toad is our next species of the day. Here's a cool wildflower, one of the very few that I actually know the name of. This is a pink lady slipper. And here's another one right here. With a couple of smaller ones coming up. I think that's one there and that's another one. Really cool flowers. There's a racer. He's an in-shed guy. That was a very nice rock. Look at that. First big snake at this spot. Nice black racer. Very deep in shed. This guy also has some pretty cool blue coloration, but I can't tell if it's just because he's in shed or if he would have that normally. You can kind of see very, very blue there along the, the base of the, the body. Really nice looking snake, even deep in shed. another giant toad. Look at this. Come here. Look at that. Why are there giant toads everywhere? This is the third one. I didn't show one of them. But they're all these just giant units. <laughs> Super cool though. Corn. Wow. That was unexpected. That has been a very corny trip. That is the third one we've seen in the last two days, or three days, I guess. Nice big adult corn snake. Not huge, but normal sized adult, I guess. Here on top of a mountain, under a rock. Really, really unexpected. Was hoping for a milk and got a corn instead. I'm not too upset about that though. I wish it was not so deep in shed because I bet this would be a really nice looking snake otherwise. I have seen corns under rocks before but it's not a very common occurrence. I think we've only seen one this year prior to this guy. So really interesting. And I would definitely like to see this guy out of shed. He's got some really interesting coloration on him and his pattern is super well defined and super bold even though he's in shed. But we're just gonna put this guy back under his rock and keep hoping for another milk or another corn snake that's not in shed would be awesome too. All right, bud, there you go. Milk snake. <laughs> it's a little guy. He's also in shed. He's nice though. 
Come here, dude. Look at that. Look at this little grump. Really cool maroon colors on the front half there. Second milk snake of the day, fourth milk snake of the trip. Not bad at all. All right, little guy, let's put you back. Oh, he's got a lot more attitude than the last couple of milks have, probably because he's warm. Really sharp looking. You can see his belly is a little bit blue. I think this guy's probably just about to start coming out of shed. There's a baby ring neck. Real tiny little guy. This guy has a kind of different belly. Really thin, tiny, tiny spots. There you go. Here's a milk. Oh, look at that. Also in shed, but that one is cool looking. Ooh. Wow. I like these. Very. We really could not have timed this worse in terms of shed cycles. Just about every snake we found has been as deep in shed as they come. Look at this thing. Really cool looking snake though. You can see he's got a little bit of a, a nuchal stripe there. And it's a big healthy adult milk. Really cool. Milk snake number five for the trip. That was probably my favorite one so far. It's just, it's hard to really say when they're they're in blue like that. I think this would be a nice looking snake though. And he's nice and healthy and big. And you can see he's got really cool pattern, even in shed. Milk snake and the millipede, who's disappearing. He's more colorful than the milk snake, weirdly enough. All right, big guy. Here's your rock. I'm not sure how you got under there in the first place, but I think you can probably just go down the leaves here. Yeah, he's got a hole. Perfect. Milk snake number five for the trip and number three for the day. Let's see if we can get another one. Will we ever find a snake that's not in shed? Stay tuned to find out. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Is this one in shed? Yes, of course. Why wouldn't it be? He's tangled up in the roots. That was a cool flip, though. He's huge. This might be one of the biggest milks I've ever seen. It's definitely, I think, the biggest I've seen in Georgia. This thing is a tank. I changed my mind. I think this is my favorite milk of the day. <laughs> this thing is so cool. These snakes aren't going to be particularly vibrant, but I still would really like to see what that color looks like with a fresh coat of paint. I mean, it's almost, it's almost purpley looking through the shed. It's really unusual. But, I mean, we're finding milk snakes, and I can't complain about that. I can always come back on a day with better weather, particularly a little bit later in the year. So, I'm just going to put this guy back under his rock, and we're going to go for number five for the day. All right, let's put this big guy back. It might be a, a little bit of a work to get him back under that rock, because he was in that little burrow. And the rest of that rock was pretty tight to the ground, so we might have to make a little hole for him to go back into. There you go. Perfect. And then we'll just cover that back up. There's a bear! Wait, look! Oh! Holy crap! What's up, dude? <laughs> that was so cool. Ah, I'm not getting a picture, but that was awesome. Wow. All right, everyone, we are back from the mountains. It was a pretty productive trip, but I forgot to run an outro and I'm getting ready to go out on my first outing since I got back. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna wrap this one up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was a fantastic trip. We saw lots of cool wildlife, lots of cool plants, and some really cool snakes too. 